Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share why I'm recommending that you conquer the LSAT in 2023. Be done with it. Move on with life. Not like me, where I'm still talking LSAT 15 plus years later. At LSAT Unplugged, we offer live online classes via Zoom, on-demand video lessons, small group coaching, and one-on-one -on -one coaching, both with me personally, as well as members of my team. Now, why am I, am I recommending that everyone conquer the LSAT and be done with it in 2023? At the time of this recording, we're in mid-February 2023, the LSAT and the law school admissions world are going to go undergo some radical changes over the next year and a half or so. I'm going to walk through why those changes mean you want to conquer the LSAT and be done with it this year, 2023. First off, the logic game section is going to radically change late, uh, in mid-2024. Specifically, we can predict in June 2024 or July 2024, the current logic game section will be gone and a new logic game section that is radically different will be in place. Why is that happening? Well, the short version is that a blind test taker sued LSAC a couple of years back, contending that he was at an unfair disadvantage because he could not benefit from diagramming logic games the way that other test takers could. And I think he's got a fair point. After all, you try doing games with no diagramming at all and see how it goes for you. Me personally, I love to use diagrams. I love to use scratch paper, and I could not imagine doing games without the ability to diagram. And that's me. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. Imagine how it is for the average test taker, a lot harder, I would think. LSAC settled that lawsuit with the test taker and agreed to develop a new version of the exam without the current logic game section. And they've already been testing that out in June, 2022 and November, 2022. They piloted new radically different experimental logic games questions for test takers taking those test administrations. And then in December 2022, they ran a field study allowing all test takers to see what those questions might look like to help them calibrate the difficulty and to calibrate what those questions should even look like. What this means is that if you're taking the LSAT in mid-2024 or beyond, the current logic games that have been on the exam for about 30 plus years will no longer be nearly as useful to you as practice material and test prep companies like mine will not have as much material available to help you out in terms of learning what those new games replacements are like. Of course, I will pull all-nighters as soon as I can, as soon as I have the source material to help develop new techniques for those new questions. But the reality is, honestly, there's going to be a lot less available to anyone studying for the LSAT in mid-2024 or fall 2024. Of course, several years from now, there's going to be a lot more, but that's not going to be the situation if you're taking the LSAT in the next couple of years. Another major reason that I recommend conquering the LSAT now and being done with it, applying to law school and moving on with your life is that we it looks like we're going to be in a major recession coming up if we're not currently already in one. Big tech companies are announcing massive layoffs, and that's going to have a ripple effect across the rest of the economy. What happens when the economy is bad is that more people go to law school because they figure I'm not going to do a great, uh, I'm not going to have a, a great career situation in the short term. Why don't I go to law school for, for a couple of years? build valuable skills, get that JD. And then when I graduate three to four years from now, hopefully, presumably, the economy will be in a better situation. I've seen this happen a couple of times already over the course of my career. Back in 2008, we had the financial crisis, the mortgage crisis, the housing crisis. A massive number of people got laid off and they chose to go to law school or they graduated undergrad. They didn't see the job market looking too appealing. They said, you know what? I'm going to go to law school now wait out the recession, get some valuable skills, and then hopefully 2011, 2012, 2013, the job market will, will be better. I'll have that JD. I'll have much stronger earning power to get a better salary. So we saw that, in fact, the number of people taking the LSAT spiked in 2008, 2009, 2010. The number of people applying to law school spiked as well, meaning it was a lot more competitive to get in to law school your prospects were a lot more difficult. You needed an even a higher LSAT score to get into the same schools that a couple of years prior would have allowed you to get in with a lower LSAT score. We saw the same thing happen again in 2020. Due to the pandemic, the job market was bad. People couldn't do anything really. And so they said, you know what? I'm going to buckle down, study for the LSAT, go to law school. And then we saw as a result, a year later, the most competitive admission cycle ever. What that means is that if we have a recession again now, just a couple of years later, we will likely be in the same situation. We're seeing layoffs already. We're seeing more people taking the LSAT already. And so what that means is that you're going to want to conquer the LSAT now and be done with it so that if we do get into an even worse 
economic situation in the in the in globally and of course in, in the US in particular, you're going to want to take the LSAT and be done with it now before things get even worse. Secure your LSAT score, apply to law school, get into the best law school possible with the most scholarship money possible is my recommendation. And if you would like help with that, my team and I would love to support you. We have live online classes via Zoom again, small uh, on-demand video lessons, small group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching. We'd love to help you out. Click the link below to book a call with us. We'd love to give you the best possible recommendations for your path forward. We also have a free, easy LSAT cheat sheet linked below this video to help you jumpstart your prep. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It really does help, and I really do appreciate it. In the meantime, I wish you all the best, and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best, and take care.